Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So my husband and I, we play around with our diets a lot. We might do dry fast, we might intermittent fast, and sometimes we go without eating meat for long periods of time. When that happens, I like to keep our meals exciting and not boring. And I don't want to feel like we're limited to just salads because that's not really fun for the palate. So here in Korea, you can always find lots of mushrooms. There's mushrooms everywhere. And there's a very popular recipe called vegan pulled pork where where instead of pork, you're eating mushrooms that shredded that looks like pork. So I'm going to make that today and I'm going to share with you that process if you don't already know. So stay tuned to see how I get this recipe done in my small but cozy Korean kitchen. Here are my mushrooms. Um, this might have cost us maybe like $1.50 a bag and you see how big they are. Um, so we're definitely going to get our money's worth out of these. So to feed two hungry adults, like enough to get seconds and everything, we're going to need eight to nine of these mushrooms. So I'm not going to use everything in these bags. I'm going to save this for another recipe. I'm only going to take about nine out of here. What I have to do though, what I don't really see people doing is like they'll cut off like that bottom part, the root part. But they don't really clean everything else and that really grosses me out a little bit. I like to clean my fruits, my vegetables, everything. So I'm going to do that right now and I'm going to show you how I do it. So mushrooms, they absorb liquid a lot. So where I would normally soak other fruits and vegetables in either vinegar water solution or salt water solution, I'm not going to do that with these. So I am going to show you how I do it. I'm just going to go over again. Maybe there's places I didn't quite get off from that root that I don't like. And once I do all of that, I'm going to rinse everything. And then I just scrape because I want to make sure I get like, you know, maybe that first layer of dirt that's on the skin that might not come off when I rub it underwater. So I just go like that. Um, again, I see lots of people that don't do this and they're fine. But for me, I just like to feel like I clean my stuff as much as I could before I put them in my body, especially with fresh stuff like this, because you know it's coming right from the ground. So I just like to scrape, scrape, scrape. And it just makes me feel a little bit better about cleaning and stuff. going to shrink up a lot in the oven but we're going to fill it back up by the time we add our onions and some bell peppers so it's going to be fine 
Um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to add just a little bit of olive oil and a sprinkle of salt. With this meal, I don't season it that much, and that's because all of the flavor is coming from whatever barbecue sauce you're using. So if you make your own barbecue sauce and it comes out great, this is the perfect time to use that. If you have a favorite barbecue sauce, then you wanna go get that. And this is going to absorb all of the flavor in that barbecue sauce. Now here in Korea, we don't have like real ovens. We have little makeshift ovens and they look like toaster ovens, but they get the job done for like small baking jobs. So in order to cook this in one batch, I'm going to split this up onto two trays. So let's go start that now. type of thing for the oven if you put it on um if you put it on foil it's gonna stick so you're better off using something like this because it doesn't stick almost 40 minutes in the toaster oven this is what it looks like so I want all of them to be dried out and kind of browned like how some of the top is so I'm gonna just you know push some of the ones in the back in the front and vice versa so that they can be cooked a little bit more evenly again this thing is really small so I have to make do with what I have and just go in from time to time and you know mush things around so it can get cooked evenly so that's what I'm going to do now with this tray and as well as the other one all right so this is what it looks like now and at this point I'm gonna take it out um, and I'm gonna put it on the stove with the onions and bell peppers and garlic and all of that that's it it's pretty easy the only tedious thing is shredding up the mushrooms but other than that it's pretty easy going from there i hope that you enjoyed this video if you're here in korea i hope that this maybe motivates you if you're looking for ways to jazz up your lunches your dinners or whatever thank you so much for watching